Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday. It is June 20th. This is going to be your full length reading on YouTube. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube. Um, I'm really tired, and I'm always tired during the full moon. I don't know if you guys find that you get really, really tired. My insomnia gets so much worse during the full moon for whatever reason, but um, I did. I was talking to my guides last night and they did give me a lot of messages last night. So I did write them down to share with you guys today. So every night I always pray and I asked what messages I need to share. What is important? What, what did, does the community need to know? The soul, my soul tribe, what do they need to know? And again, they said this world needs love. And the voice that came through was so sad. It was just sad. It was like somebody that was mourning. And I said, I get that, but how, how can, how can we give love in this world? I mean, what do we need to do? What do I need to tell them? <clears throat> so the first thing they said is it is the very first thing you need to do is release all people, place their things. Um, that are negative in nature, okay? Um, they said to keep your circle small, and it's one step at a time, and with each step, uh, give thanks and gratitude. They want you to stop focusing on the past trauma and mistakes and stay in the present moment. Stay in the here and now, and place your focus on your internal world instead of the external world. So your connection with God, that needs to be your primary focus, is growing that connection with God. Okay. They said, stop worrying about money. All the money in the world won't save a spiritually bankrupt soul. So money is, yes, it's a necessity and it's fine for you to pray for, um, your needs to be met, but God already knows, knows your needs. They just don't want you to focus on the money uh, they would rather you place your focus on your your strength, um, your con strengthening your connection with God. Um, and then they said, uh, when souls come to you with drama, don't engage, walk away, surrender them to God, and ask the energy to be replaced with love and light, love and peace. And then imagine that person and the situation, um, place them on a cloud, a white fluffy cloud. And watch it float away. Um, forgive with love and compassion, but release it from your spirit. And they said, never miss an opportunity to give a smile, a kind word, or a prayer for those in need. And these, this is what I could remember. I was really tired, but this is what I could remember. And this is how we give love to the world. That's, that's what they told me. So I hope it helps whoever needs to hear that. Uh, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Itty would said the ill will <sighs> through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit. Angel, saint, spirit, guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. Okay? All right. Let's see, guys. Current situation. We have a king of wands in reverse. There's a very selfish, self-absorbed, egotistical um, person in your energy. All right, what's the challenge? Challenge. The magician. You are a master manifester. You are able to transmute negative to positive energy, and that's a challenge for this king of wands in reverse. Um, you guys may be hearing some noises. We're having some work done on the house right now, so I apologize in advance for that. Uh, what is the focus? What is the focus? Somebody's focused on your work. You're being seen as this star energy. And you are committed and devoted to what you're doing. You are mastering uh, a skill. And it's paying off for you. And that's what someone is focused on. You could also be focused on your work. Please clarify the past. Or sorry. Please give me past energy. <laughs> please give me past energy. Past energy. The temperance card wanted to come out. Past energy, um, the truth shall set you free. God gave you the truth in the situation that you were trapped in. And the truth is what set you free. Wow. You will get justice for whatever you experienced. Your strength. Your strength. 
Your strength is taking swift action, surrendering to the divine and embracing the energy of peace, moving away from a situation and doing it quickly. That is all because you had trust in God. All right. Near future, please. Near future, please. Oh, again with St. Michael. I do feel this is St. Michael. St. Michael is protecting you. You are being elevated in the Lady of or Man of Luxury energy. You've really learned um, that you can do it on your own. You know, that you can run a business or you can be independent, live alone. You know, St. Michael's protecting you because you are doing all the right things. You are learning all the lessons. You are, you know, focusing on your own growth and development. And so St. Michael is here protecting you. What's the advice? They want you to know justice is being served. Those scales of justice will be balanced no matter what was done to you. The spiritual realm is going to make it right in the environment. In the environment, people see you as an earth angel. Uh, and they see that you are in your fate and destiny. Whatever you're being guided to do, people in the community can see it, that it is destined for you. You are a healer. You're an earth angel. All right. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Yeah. Someone is afraid because you are taking a brand new leap of faith. You are receiving what you deserve. And this is tied to a soul contract, okay? Whether it's romantic or friendship, whatever it is. All right, let's look at the potential outcome. Potential outcome. Potential outcome. Wow. We got a really greedy masculine here in the potential outcome. Trying to cheat, lie, and steal. Trying to hold on not only to your energy, but to any ounce of resources they may have. Somebody could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn placements. This is someone that is overindulging. This is someone that has addictions, codependency. This is someone that's been misled by the devil. This person, oh, they're headed down the wrong path. Yeah, they're headed toward re uh, abandonment, rejection, financial ruin. Let me get one more. Potential outcome. Potential outcome. Yeah, this person was fed an illusion, tricked by the devil. You are this empress and the upright, high vibrational, divine energy. Um, you're balanced. You're balanced in both masculine and feminine. You've learned a lot of lessons. You're very creative. You know your value and worth, and, um, you know, you continue to rise. You continue to elevate. God is elevating you. God is, God is watching out for you. God is guiding you. That's amazing. All right, let's do another round, guys. And uh, just to get my announcements out of the way while I shuffle, if you guys are interested in scheduling, I think I only have one or two appointments left this week. So schedule sooner than later. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio, TikTok, description of YouTube. All right. Current situation. We can see a king of wands in reverse. This is not a leader. This is a follower. This is a very selfish, self-absorbed, egotistical, masculine energy. All right. Current situation. King of wands in reverse. King of wands in reverse. The moon. Yeah. Current situation. This person is trying to be sneaky and sly, doing things in the darkness. Tell me about this moon energy current situation. Oh, but they're blocked. So it doesn't matter what they're trying to project on you and this moon energy to the king of wands in reverse. The spiritual realm has blocked this person. <laughs> you are this master manifester. You are a true alchemist. You transmute energy, negative to positive and this is a challenge for this person that's been trying to do all of this stuff in the dark. The moon and the challenge position. Yeah, they're also challenged because you operate not only as a master magician, but you operate in the energy of divine love. I do see communication um, 
Or this could also be a spark of inspiration. What's the Page of Wands? Yeah, they're, they're challenged because you have this spark, you have this inspiration. Um, there could be a lot of communication going on about how you're too committed and devoted. You know, you're too focused on what you're creating, what God is inspiring you to create. And so this is a challenge because they can't distract you. That's what I'm getting. Um, the focus, somebody's focused on you being the star, you being um, in this Eight of Pentacles of energy, mastering a skill and it paying off for you. Yeah. You, you were this magician and you walked away. This person pushed you away. And this is what they're thinking about. Like, this is someone that's reminiscing about how much better their life would be seeing that you are so gifted and that you are blessed and that your blessing when you walked away left with you um past energy eight of swords to the ace of swords um the truth will set you free god came in with the truth in a situation where you were trapped and that's what set you free past energy yeah you were stuck in a third party situation now, this could have been involving a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this was your energy. You were stuck in a third-party situation. That's exactly what I'm getting. Hangman, Three of Cups. So either the, the Queen of Cups is a third party or you were the Queen of Cups. Either way, you were stuck in a third-party situation. All right. Whether you knew about it or not, eventually God gave you the truth. Your strength is taking swift action to move away from a situation to embrace your peace. Strength. Too many spirit. Strength. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Your strength was healing from a very greedy masculine. Someone that only cared about money. And let me tell you about that. When somebody covets something and they turn their back on God, God will allow the devil to take and destroy whatever they covet. Because they went into union with the devil. They fell for the temptation, and so they made a contract with the devil. So God will allow the devil to destroy that person's life because that's what they committed to. That's what they chose with their free will. So whatever they have coveted will be taken from them. All right, near future, St. Michael is protecting the lady or man of luxury. You are being elevated, and you are being very protected, okay? You have a mission. Yeah, to help your community. Look at that. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. If you guys haven't been elevated yet, it's happening. We have the Nine of Pentacles twice here. Definitely, you're being elevated. And it's because you have a big purpose. Your purpose is to help your community. All right, advice. They said, don't worry. Don't worry about what has happened in the past because justice will be served. The scales of justice will be balanced. Yeah. And a new path is being made available to you. Again, you are being moved on. A new leap of faith, a brand new beginning. <clears throat> in the environment, people can see you're this earth angel and that you are operating in the wheel of fortune, in your fate and destiny, what is meant for you. That's how the environment sees you, in the environment. Yeah, they see you as this high priestess, very spiritually gifted, highly intuitive, psychic, um, whatever it is the environment sees this is your destiny this is what you're meant to do all right uh hopes and fears someone's afraid because you're calling in uh equal give and take and you're ta taking a brand new leap of faith hopes and fears you're escaping that's what i just heard you're escaping yeah huh. again the <laughs> nine of pentacles doing it on your own closing out a cycle and focusing on what it is god inspires you to create there's definitely an elevation. Definitely financial resources are being elevated because that wasn't your primary focus. <clears throat> you didn't covet riches. You didn't hurt other people to try to get wealthy. Because of that, the resources will be taken from this dark, low vibrational masculine energy, which could be a female or a, ma a male. It doesn't matter. It's energy. It'll be taken from them and given to you because your priorities were in order. God was your priority. Being a good person, learning your lesson was your priority. 
potential outcome, we can see a greedy masculine energy that was a liar, a cheater, and a snake. Someone that is overindulging in drugs and alcohol. They could be codependent. Someone that's very toxic that was fed an illusion by the devil. You are the empress energy, and now God stands beside you. God protects you. God keeps you safe. All right, potential outcome. 15, 15 on my timer. Potential outcome. Potential outcome. Yeah. The potential outcome, this distorted masculine energy wants to give an offer, but they're blocked by their own regret. Their own regret. They know all that they've done to you. All the lies that they've spread to deflect blame. They know all they did to you. They're blocked by their own regret and they're under judgment, facing massive endings in their life. And you may hear about the endings that they're experiencing. <clears throat> All right, let's do some letters. Letters and signs. All right. Truth and only truth for the collective. Who is this reading about? Who is this reading about, please? L on the bottom of the deck. O, Gemini. We have the letter N. F. G, K, there's our Z, Scorpio, R, S, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, we have the letter P, Sag, and we have the letter D. Somebody's name could be Lon, Lonnie, Lana. Okay, let me see. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to keep yawning. All right. Somebody could go by Rod or Rodney. Mm. Somebody could be a senior, SR. Somebody could work in public relations. Somebody had a God complex. God is also intervening at this time. Somebody is experiencing a lot of loss because of their past choices and actions. They're experiencing a lot of loss. Oh, I just heard job loss. Somebody could be losing their job. Lorn, L-O-R-N. I don't know. I just heard Lorna, too. I don't, somebody could go by a nickname of Lorne. Lore for Lori, Lorna, Lorne. So what? It's, it needs to slow their roll. R-O-L-L. -L. Slow their roll. Yeah, they're not thinking. They're not. They're not acting um, real smart. Spiritual realm says somebody needs to slow their roll. Yeah, they need to actually stop. They need to stop. Whoops. Actually, I don't know that that was there. So, 
The T, I think, was under the L, but I'm going to keep it because I heard it. Um, yeah, somebody's got a poker face on. Somebody's been pretending, pretending, poker. They've been pretending they're happy, pretending, you know, just being fake. They got a poker face on. Somebody's name could be Ross, Rosie. Yeah, somebody thought they were pro. They thought they were going to really destroy your life. They thought they were a pro at it. This is someone that's spent their whole life lying, cheating, and stealing. They thought that, oh, they were going to be successful. They didn't realize that when you do this to someone that's spiritually protected, when you do that to an earth angel, you are going to um, call into your life the wrath of God. And that's what's happening. Yeah. Oh, stop. Yeah, that came out again. Stop. Uh, did I say raw and somebody's name could be Ron, Ronnie, Ronald? Mm. Somebody needs to say no. Just say no. Hmm. I heard New Zealand. Um, New Zealand. All right, guys, that's all I'm getting. It's starting to break out of the sweat now. Okay. Let's get some advice, and then we'll, I'm going to get a couple from my deck, too. These karmic energies here. Oh, that just heard that. Somebody could overdose on drugs or alcohol. I hope not. We don't wish that on anyone. All right. What does the collective need to, to be aware of? What advice do you have for the collective, please? What advice do you have for the collective, please? Spend time alone at this time. Don't give up. New doors are opening. You will be vindicated. Let them talk and stay silent. Being by water will help you. What are you waiting for? Take action. The past will return to test you. Um, what are you afraid of on the bottom of the deck? All right. All right. What's going on with this karmic energy? Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and documents. Read carefully. This fire sign could have gone into some sort of contract, and they didn't read the details. They didn't read the fine print. What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? What does the collective need to know? Yeah, they want you to let go of the past. Um, this should have been a divine masculine energy to you, but they're going through a tower. It's crashing and burning. All the evil that they've put out, they've destroyed their own life. Yeah, look, karma. By trying to destroy you, they destroyed themselves. They tried to outcast you. They try to turn people against you through lies and slander. And now this narcissist is going through a dark night of the soul. Wow. Yep, they have karmic family members that are involved. And they've been fake wearing a mask. They want you just to continue to pray. Yep. You have a soulmate. A true divine partnership coming in for you. And this person has done everything. 
with his death rituals card to try to intervene, to, in, to interrupt any kind of divine union that you have coming in. Yeah, they've been stalking your social media. We have a timing of in the near future. What's going on in the near future? You have a new job or career. This can also be an expansion of your career. And in the near future, you have happiness, joy, and emo emotional fulfillment. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, you went through a spiritual awakening. You ascended. Having this experience, look at the difference in the colors, guys. Having this experience with this evil person, it only set you free. And, it's, and it put you in your purpose. You know, this person didn't realize the devil was manipulating them to try to attack an earth angel, someone that had a spiritual mission. And this, the devil is, when they're done, because now it's not working, the devil's going to destroy this person's life. That's what happens. Your ancestors are helping you. You do have protection from your ancestors as well. They help you. What else do we need to know? St. Michael protects you. Wow. Thank you, St. Michael. Yeah, you're releasing karmic debt and you're being guided towards your destiny. Whoever this person, this narcissist is, they're going to have legal issues. This is their karma. Continue to cleanse your energy, cleanse your space, take spiritual baths. Because this person is, is connected to their enemy. They're in a karmic relationship with someone that is their enemy. There's STDs, spiritual disease here. Connecting them with this person brought about STDs. Um, yeah. Told you. Karmic connection. STDs. Anything else? Yep, you're spiritually gifted. Intuition, visions, dreams. They want you to make a wish because a wish is coming true. And you are an earth angel. They just validated. Do you see how amazing they validated with my deck? I love this. Okay. And it is for sale, guys. If you're interested, it's $28.88. Just send an email to my husband at tashas.merch at gmail.com. You just have to pay for the shipping. All right, let's do another round, guys. Oh. So, current situation, low vibrational, uh, player energy, selfish, egotistical, doing a lot of things in the dark, but they're blocked. So, that's in a current situation. They're trying to be sneaky, but the spiritual realm is blocking them. Yeah, because you're an empress, and the spiritual realm is protecting you. So, whatever this person's trying to do, it's, it's going to backfire in a, in a big way. They're challenged because you're a master manifester. You also operate in the energy of love. And uh, there could be a lot of messages going around. This could also be you spreading messages of love. And um, But people are, if they're talking, they're talking about how you are too committed and devoted. And that's why they can't get to your energy. The challenge. Yeah. Three of Cups. You're celebrating your life. You're happy. You're helping others. And you're happy doing it. That's a challenge for people. They need you to be in a low vibration. They need you to be sad and crying and anxious. They don't understand. When you have your awakening, your connection with God gets stronger and stronger and stronger. You're not the 3D version of yourself. These people are delusional. They keep trying the same thing over and over. That's the definition of insanity. When you keep doing the same thing over and expecting a different result, that's just crazy. Uh, they're focused on you being a star, you mastering a skill, you being this master manifester. And also, they're focused on you walking away, you escaping them. Focus. 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 Yeah, they're focused on things picking up quickly in your life while they're in a nightmare. Nine of Swords, they can't sleep, can't eat, they're stressed out. Well, this isn't you projecting it. This is God. This is God reminding this person of how dark and evil that they have been to you and to others. In the past, 
Um, God, the truth will set you free. God revealed the truth to get you out of a situation that you were trapped in. You um, were stuck in a third party situation. Now this can be a queen of cups that's involved or this can be you. All right, past, past energy. You will have victory, success, public recognition over the past. You learned what you needed to learn from the past. Your strength is, is taking swift action to leave a situation, to move toward calmer waters. And we see that you've healed from a very materialistic, low vibrational, karmic masculine, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or just this is just the energy of being uh, very greedy, very materialistic. Your strength, you healed. Yeah, you know, your strength is being adaptable. You know, this was very difficult for you. You had to do, you had to prioritize a lot. There was a lot on your plate. But this strength of yours and finding the light within has led you toward a soul union, calling in a high level soul union. So, yeah, a passionate new beginning, a gift and blessing from God. So, you didn't go for it, through it for nothing. You went through a karmic release and you purged a lot, okay? Near future, St. Michael's protecting you while you are elevated. You're here for a big purpose, which is to help humanity in some way. Near future. Yeah, Ace of Cups, operating in this divine love energy. Near future, someone is walking away. What? Who's walking away in the near future? Who's walking away? Who's walking away? Yeah, so this looks like a King of Wands, um, which came out in reverse, is walking away. They're preparing for change. The blockage here is they feel like they missed an opportunity with you. This is someone that knew that knows they didn't give equally to you like they should have. They gave to multiple people, and that's the blockage for them. Um, let's see. Advice. They said, don't worry. Justice will play out. Justice will be served. And a new path, a new leap of faith is being prepared for you. Advice. They also said, be mindful. The devil wants to come back in the form of this past person to try to make peace with you. Be mindful. That cycle is already closed. The only reason the devil would tempt this person or put in this person's mind to try to come back and tempt you is to derail your mission for God. Because the devil only seeks destruction, confusion, illusion, death. That's, that's what the devil does. All right. In the environment, you are this earth angel. You're aligned with your fate and destiny. You are a high priestess, highly intuitive, very gifted, very spiritual, and very protected, and that's how the community sees you. All right, in the environment, God protects you. God, 33, 22 on my timer, God is very present in your life. God is definitely protecting you. People can see that because it's in the environment. Yeah, look, Hierophant, eight of coins. People in the environment can see that you're doing what God's guiding you to do. Whatever career path you're on, God's guiding you. People in the environment know this. I'm getting the energy of fear too. Someone, someone is afraid because of this information. Whatever information they got, which led them to this conclusion, they're now in fear because of what they did to you. Thirty-three fifty-five on my timer. Um, hopes and fear. Someone's afraid. You are receiving what you deserve. You're taking a brand new leap of faith. You're being elevated. You're closing out a cycle, and you're focused on your creative projects. And they're afraid because it's paying off. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Yeah, look at this. You are the, the true alchemist, the magician. You are calling in multiple wishes. And that this person's afraid because you can transmute anything that they send your way. You know how to do it. Potential outcome. This person is still cheating, lying, stealing. They're greedy. They're trying to hold on to every penny. They're overindulging. This person's in devil energy. Um, that they were deceived by the devil. You are this empress energy. God is protecting you. 
And we can see this person wants to come in with a love offer, but they're being blocked by their own guilt and they're under judgment. Under judgment. So, let's see. Potential outcome, please. They're also going through massive endings in their life. Potential outcome, please. Oh my gosh. All right, so you have this Ten of Pentacles. That's where you're being guided toward to build this legacy, build this generational wealth. Someone is waking up to the fact, they're being enlightened, that you are this Queen of Wands. You're very passionate, you're driven, you're spiritual. You're a true leader and you're a visionary. They can see that your destiny is guiding you toward this wealth that this person has coveted so much. Now they're in regret for choosing this Queen of Cups. Now, take what applies to you. It doesn't have to be that sign, but we're getting the Queen of Cups out here twice now. I feel like this is the third party because this person is regretting now choosing this third party. And I don't feel like you want this person. Yeah, you don't. You're moving away from this person. You, Your memory is very good. You remember all the specifics of every horrible, heartless thing this person said or did to you. You're also aware of the things this person did behind your back too. So this person, you know, if they think that if they let enough time pass, you'll forget this person is, like I said, delusional. No one will forget the details of the worst suffering of their life. So this person's delusional and you're just moving on. You're focused on your own soul's growth. You're focused on doing what God asks of you. You're focused on your connection, your relationship with God. You're not playing these games. You, this person, you don't believe in the, in the rubbish this person believes in, which is no belief at all. No faith. You know, this person's immoral with no integrity. And this is the actions they have shown you. It's not words. You didn't believe the rumors other people said to you. You're, you're basing it off of their actions, what you viewed, what you experienced. So it's not like this person can come and lie their way out of it. You were there. You were there. You experienced it. So that's why this person, they are stuck. They know that the old tricks don't work on you anymore. You're not a fool. You're very enlightened. And you've had this awakening. So this person, there is no way that they can get back in your energy. And now they're stuck with what they chose would be, they thought would be the grass was greener. No, the, the grass wasn't greener. The grass didn't even exist. That was a dirt field that the devil deceived you into thinking it was lush grass. You chose dirt. You chose dirt over a, a lush garden. And this person's waking up to that now. They're seeing the truth in that situation and it's crushing and it's crushing and they're angry. But in, instead of being angry and projecting their anger, they need to go heal. They need to do right by you. And until they do right by you, by speaking the truth, being accountable and returning whatever they stole from you, they will spend the rest of this life in horrible karma that will only get worse. That is how it works. 38, 33 on my timer. That is universal law. So that's what this person has to look forward to. Not only are they not going to be wealthy, they're going to be bound to a very karmic, low vibrational, insecure energy that is going to drive them nuts. This person's reputation is going to be destroyed. This person's health will probably be destroyed. Whatever they did to try to destroy you, it's going to, they're going to be destroyed. If they try to interfere with you working, they're going to lose their job. Like I said, I mean, that's just how universal law works, guys. All right, this is your first reading. I love you. I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.